Okay, railroad boss. Uh, go through this a little bit more specific for you. Okay. So before we get into history, right now there's a no burn advisory. It means no permits will be issued. It's not permitted in any way whatsoever in Mesa County. So you can go to that historical reference to read up about the details. Now for the most part, it seems like the uh, history of how it turned into a wasteland, basically, was fairly accurate. Except for the mistake they made was stopping the cattle grazing, which obviously was returning nutrition to the ground. And that would have been the result. Burning it is the worst thing you can do. Because if it's not partially burned, there's no way to till it back into the ground to get the nutrition back in the ground. And I don't know, I'm gonna have to say for sure that uh, apparently you guys are trying to set a world record for the longest wild blades of grass ever. I mean, I'm not going to even measure it, but that's it's taller than me, probably about 10 feet. Okay, so I'm going to close this out here. And just point out, really, I mean, you guys kind of probably got lucky on how you burned it, but... Now, I'm assuming what happened, because I didn't actually see it. When they did this burn, which was not permitted, even though it's unincorporated land, still in the state, I mean, still could have got fined for it. Or maybe it was an accident. I have no idea. Maybe the fire department showed up to put out a cigarette burn or something. So what I was looking for was some kind of like signs that it was basically a system designed where it had So you can't even see through it. There's plenty of nutrition in it. You can see the uh, dead growth. So this is actually pretty rich. It'll probably recover in a couple years. But if this one was the propane, and these are the two water heads for a controlled burn, right now as it stands, you can't even do that kind of controlled burn. It'd have to be tilled in. But here's the thing, is that there's probably regions that could use, let me just walk up to this here. Now of course it goes up to a little bit of a slope. Okay, so this one here, that comes up to my height. So 5'11", yeah, you're probably pretty close to nine feet. It'd be better to find, basically kind of work with the, the city because it's in the city's jurisdiction to have it mowed down and probably hoppered into one of your guys' boxcars. I'm sure somebody can use the wild blades of grass to restore their wasteland somewhere. Outside that, it'll probably just get mixed in with Mesa County's uh, recycled 
natural stuff for lawn and gardening. Um, let's see if I can see it from here. Anyway, there's not a main fire hydrant here close. The uh, residential apartments, the newest ones right there. And the railroad property does extend like three feet into their fence line. So that was a city assessor mess up. Should never got planned that close. Uh, and I can't see it here, but I'm going to say here at the Super Walmart, it's somewhere on that first island about where the red car is. I think it's just the other side of that bush. There's a fire hydrant halfway buried in the bush. Like, I don't know if the, even the fire department would notice it if they had to save the apartment from a fire. So definitely no more fire burning for sure. That's what the state health department says.